All right, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk today about some work on advanced visualization and data analysis of HPC cluster and user application behavior. This is work uh, carried out in the National Science Foundation funded Cloud and Autonomic Computing uh, Industry University Cooperative Research Center, which is a multi-university, multi-industry uh, organization. The work was done at Texas Tech University with funding from Dell Technologies in partnership with Intel. And the work that you hear about today will, has been done by graduate students, uh, Jie Li and Nan Yen, uh, with uh, guidance from their faculty advisors, Dr. Tommy Deng and Dr. Yong Chen, and myself and industry in, uh, collaborator, John Haas. So um, we're going to talk today uh, about um, uh, an overview of the project, how, where it's been done and in what context uh, the facility that we used. Uh, we started this work with extensive simulation, but have tested it in our facility as we'll describe. We'll go into a lot of detail on data collection and management uh, with a large amount of data and visualization in, uh, in the context that we think will uh, is prime for rapid adoption. And, uh, the uh, context, as I said, is the High Performance Computing Center here at Texas Tech University. Here we uh, run several hundred nodes, uh, about 240 nodes of uh, AMD-based uh, cluster providing almost a petaflop and an older cluster uh, with about half that computing power. We also have extensive GPU capabilities, which we're just bringing into this um, framework so we'll talk primarily about the CPU monitoring. Uh, the project idea is to develop a cutting edge visualization monitoring and management solutions for high performance computing center systems to understand the status of uh, the platform and how the applications are running on it and to provide insight into interactions among the platform components. This uh, goes into much greater detail, uh, orders of magnitude more detail than previously available monitoring projects due to the greatly increased level of, of detail available from modern baseboard management controllers, uh, primarily through the Redfish standard uh, telemetry feature that allows collection of a large amount of data uh, and correlates that with through API and CLI interfaces that we've produced to the behavior of HPC job schedulers and application. So next we're going to have uh, graduate student Jay Lee talk about data management and collection. Uh, the Nakona nodes are equipped with iJack line, uh, which is an advanced uh, baseball management controller. The monitoring data that obtained from iJack line um, can be streamed or pushed from each node which means computer node can actively send metrics to the monitoring node instead of a passive and inefficient poor method. The advanced iTrack 9 provides over 180 data metrics related to server and the peripherals uh, operations, including power consumption, CPU usage, IO operations, etc. Unlike metrics from previous iTrack model, while we must attach timestamp to metrics at a client site, iTrack line metrics are precisely timestamped and internally buffered to allow highly efficient data streaming with minimal network loading. Uh, note that with higher granularity and more available metrics, the total volume data is much higher uh, than previous iTrack. This is a picture showing the process of data collection and an analytics using iTrack line, which is basically the same process uh, with our projects. We will develop ingest collectors, set up database, and realize the uh, uh, telemetry metrics. To uh, quantify the challenge of the data, man data management, we summarize the number of metric records collected from our system. It is based on the available sensors and the total number of nodes in the cluster. For the corner partition, there are 12 available metrics for, it, for each node. Um, the data pooling frequency is 60 seconds. When multiplied by the total number of nodes of corner partition, which is 
460, we will have a total of 1.9 billion records of metrics each year. For the corner partition, the total number of available metrics is over 180, and the poor frequency is more granular, which is five seconds. For the whole partition with 240 nodes, the total number of records collected is about 31 million for one hour, over 700 million for one day, and 22 billion for one month, and over 268 billion for one year. The total number of records in Lacona is about 100 times of that in Kona. The higher data volume requires improved methods for data storage, compression, and query. We've explored the following ways to improve the availability of the monitoring data. Specifically, we use NVMe drives for data collection in JEST and uh, uh, data, database. It provides a faster data access. We also explored using TimeScale DB, an optimized re relational database for time series data to store the monitoring metrics. The building compression is used to reduce the data volume. From our experience, we observed that the average compression rate for these metrics is over 85%, as shown in this figure. The compression significantly alleviates the data storage pressure. Besides using faster storage and the database optimized for time series data, we further developed a monster interface to provide easy access to the monitoring data where the virtualization access the data through the APIs. Our project um, architecture currently contains two main components, the data collection and the virtualization components. We are also working on the automation components. It is a set of automation tools that help system admins with their daily tasks. The data collection component collects monitoring data from each computing nodes and the resource manager and manage the monitoring data in time scale database. It also provides APIs and accelerates the data queries for realization and automation. The realization component consists of a series of realization applications providing interactive tools for system administrators and HPC users to check the system status. Here I list several techniques used in our project. The data is collected from Slurm and each node through the Redfish API. The collected data are stored in time scale DB. We developed the API service, a service using open API. Realization applications are mainly developed in JavaScript, TypeScript, and D3 library. Now I will let the realization team present the realization applications in detail. Uh, visualizing and monitoring data center is challenging due to the size, the complexity, and the dynamic natures of the data. So we are talking about hundreds to thousands of computing nodes and tens to hundreds of computer health metrics that are generated in a matter of every seconds. Moreover, the system administrator are also interested in capturing the physical layout of the center. So when a problem happens, they would like to know where it is located. Finally, we are dealing with the data coming from different sources for example, we are talking about the job scheduling data coming from Slurm and the computer health metric coming from Iraq. Overlay, overlaying those data will provide the system administrator supplementary views to tell the stories, such as a high CPU temperatures reading associated to CPU power jobs. High memory uses might be related to a users who run chemical simulations. This slide shows you some example of visualization that we built in the past two years working with the expert in high performance computing and their associate. Why there's no single best visualization for everything? Each visualization here will tackle the different aspect and requirement of the system. In this presentation, we will demonstrate a subset of this visualization. My PC student, Ngan Nguyen, will show you the selected visualization in the next slides. The first visualization I would like to introduce is the parallel coordinate. In parallel coordinate, each dimension will be um, displayed as the vertical axis. For example, 
a record of the compute health metrics such as CPU, to, CPU temperature, memory uses, or fan speed is illustrated uh, as curve traveling along those dimensions. In this visualization, we monitor 467 compute in Quana cluster because its compute at specific, specific time will be uh, a record. A large number of curves will be drawn on the parallel coordinate. Uh, thus, we cannot observe the distribution of its dimension. Therefore, we draw a violin chalk on its axis. So according to uh, the violin chalk, we can see that the fan speed one, two, three, four actually have the same distribution, which means the fan speed one is uh, enough to present for the other fan speed. By looking at the distribution of uh, uh, the axis, the CPU one temperature is mostly higher than the CPU two temperature for this system. So this is another visualization. So instead of focusing on the health metric, the job viewer uh, provides a snapshot uh, of the network between the user and the compute. The job viewer, uh, viewer includes three main components, compute, user, and link. Compute is represented uh, as a circle color by the metric values. The color scale is from uh, purple to red, corresponding to the low to high value. Uh, only one metric is selected at a time in this uh, mode. Uh, the border thickness of the circle is uh, present for the number of the user utilized the node. The, um, as uh, this one, the compute is dropped by the rack. Another component is the, the user. The user are listed uh, in the center of the network. The list is ordered by the number of the job. Please note that the username in this presentation is coded for the demonstration purpose. Uh, admin or root user is able to see the real uh, username. The last component of the job URD is the link. Uh, the link is the connection between the user and the compute when the user had a running job on that compute. Um, job viewer provide a basic uh, interaction like over the compute or over the user to highlight the user versus the compute relationship. User can control the time uh, with uh, the interest to see uh, the snapshot. And, um, this um, menu can uh, enable to uh, simulate the historical data from the existing record. A user can submit multi job and uh, a job can run on multi uh, compute. So it is handy to see the list of uh, the job um, when interact with the visualization. The user will be able to highlight it with a thicker border when the job has just stuck at the current time point. In this example, computes are running the job ID 19359723 have the CPU one temperature steady during the, the job running time. The value are rough after the job is finishes. This is useful when uh, researching the characteristic of a job running by a particular user. For um, the next use case, the in inconsistency metric will be highlighted. In this snapshot, the color embedded uh, display the fan speed value. The north for uh, 33, 34, 35, and 36 at the highest fan speed. The special detail here is uh, though for nodes are placed near each other physically. When checking the CPU2 temperature, only the node uh, for 33 had the high CPU2 temperature. 
uh, and please note that on this system, the CPU two temperature are usually um, uh, lower than the CPU one. So this is an abnormal case. At this time, instead of uh, switching between metric to analyze it, um, if three or the not is heating up due to uh, the not or 33 or not, uh, the job you will provide the uh, option to show on the metric at the same time with the radar job. It's a uh, how metric is show as the axis in the radar job. So we have the distinguished uh, radar shaft for the data. After the clustering algorithm, the outlier will be stay out. Um, the node uh, 33 has the distinguished distinguish radar shaft. From here, we can jump to the conclusion uh, that um, the order compute has heating up and uh, raise the fan speed due to the high CPU to temperature at the North 433. In here, the North 433 is the radar with the red color and um, the other North near it, uh, it have the pink color. Another application of radar chalk is to analyze the user characteristic. For example, the user 14, uh, is different from other user at the high memory uses. So in order to enhance the usability of our visualization, instead of uh, the web, uh, web based um, visualization, we choose Ravana, a well-known open source platform to implement our visualization plugin. Ravana support multiple um, database communication and currently we have four plugins available. Uh, we will introduce two plugins um, in the following slide. The first plugin, uh, plugin is the parallel coordinate. Uh, similar to the web version, the Grafana plugin will display on the metric uh, queried from uh, Grafana. For the small number of the node, user can color the parallel coordinate by the node name. Uh, the, and uh, the axis can be uh, toggled by um, provided uh, the left panel. Also, user can um, you can uh, can always switch uh, into um, the different color mode. For example, like uh, the color by the metric. In this mod, each curve will be colored by the selected metric. And we also have um, the simple viewing filter is enabled by just, um, by just drag onto the particular axis. This demo is show the real-time visualization ability in the last six hour of uh, the Nocona cluster. So we remember that we have um, 240 computes uh, showing on the screen. When filter the power consumption, uh, only one uh, compute is showing. The difference from the corner cluster and uh, Nocona cluster, uh, is the, the quantum cluster have the CPU uh, one temperature is higher than the CPU two, while the no corner cluster is reversed. And easy is to, is to detect the outlier from um, the CPU two temperature. Um, the node uh, 2543 had the high CPU two temperature compared to the other compute. Um, and uh, this happened, um, actually it's happened quite frequently. And according to the historical record, the data from two months ago, and uh, another use case is um, the not 2659, uh, which report uh, always report zero on the, the swing speed. Uh, this is the issue due, due to the outdated version of the IRAC on this node.
So and, um, the next visualization is chosen to implement on the Grafana is the power map. Power map is similar to the job viewer, but um, has the BDD to show on the time step rather than the snapshot. Uh, the user is listed um, in the table form. There is two icons of the user, the collapsed user and the normal user. The collapsed user um, is a mean on the job will be displayed at the one summary job and the normal user will be on the job will be displayed. And for the job component, uh, the job is displayed at the average um, radar chalk and the color of the radar chalk uh, indicate for the multiple uh, multi job or the single job. Um, like mentioned above, uh, in this visualization, uh, the compute metric will show for the own time step and it's showing as the stream. The stream page um, illustrates the sel uh, select metric. The upper stream or downward stream is separated by the threshold. The orange will be uh, marked for the upper stream and the blue will be marked for the downward stream. And also um, another color is gray or black will be indicated for no job running on uh, that node. Um, for this uh, visualization, um, when choosing a particular metric, it's easy to detect the upper threshold. For example, right here, it's, it's interesting point is uh, those computers running by a single job uh, and have a different memory power value over time. Thank you, Nan and Jay. Uh, in this presentation, we've given you insight into cutting edge visualization, monitoring and management solutions for HPC systems. Uh, along the way, you saw examples of CPU one being temperatures being higher on average than CPU two, for example, in air air cooled nodes, which is due to the physical design, and uh, and uh, the reverse in water cooled nodes for the the cooling flow is different. We are able to use these tools to understand general characteristics of high performance computing platforms as well as detailed application behavior. We collected the telemetry metrics from the uh, baseboard managed controllers through uh, newer, uh, more powerful telemetry enabled IDRAC 9 and compared them to older uh, non telemetry enabled IDRAC 8 using the Redfish API and correlated these metrics with uh, data from jobs collected from the resource manager. In the future, we ex expect to extend uh, this method, these methods to other application behavior on jobs. We used uh, these visualization tools that Anand has described, parallel coordinates, job viewers, radar charts, power maps for mining HPC system and user behavior um, in an interactive way. Uh, when you're able to actually get your hands on these, this, uh, th these tools, you can actually interact with them much uh, more readily than is easy to show in slides. To make it even easier, we've just exported the visualization tools to uh, uh, open source uh, Grafana plugins that uh, will be made available to uh, allow people to adopt these methods on their own uh, using the uh, Redfish enabled capabilities of their own nodes. Um, so in all of this work, we want to uh, thank Dell Technologies. Uh, and if we go to the last slide, uh, also thank their uh, funding partner in this work, Intel. And thank you for viewing this. Um, if you have questions, please contact us. And uh, the easiest way to reach us is through our website, uh, nsfcac.org.